Hey guys, so my heat literally just kicked off. Um, it's super loud, so I was waiting for that to go off. Um, if you hear the TV, my baby is watching Word Party. She loves it. If you hear her grunt or squeal or anything like that, she's fine. Um, so, welcome to my channel. My name is Megan, if you didn't notice by my actual username, which is my actual name. Uh, welcome, if you've never been here before, you're cool for coming and stopping by. So, today I thought, since I am, I'm a mommy now, I thought maybe I should update you guys on like, like how I've been feeling postpartum and all of that stuff and um, if you want to hear like the actual birth story uh, please let me know in the comments and I will do that for you guys um, I know I posted a birth vlog but if you want me to get a little more detailed we can do like the whole birth story so you guys know a little bit more of kind of what went on um, my baby's healthy. She's great. She's three months old now and it's insane and I probably should have done this video before now, but it's fine. Um, so let me just say, um, I'm going to just start, I, I tried to write some things down so I kind of had a guideline of what I was going to talk about. And if you're a man and you're watching this video, bless your soul. And I'm gonna try to stop rocking back and forth in this clatter, cause that's distracting and I'm so sorry. Um, but if you're a man, you can just like opt out of this video. You don't have to watch this one because I'm just gonna get a little detailed um, for all the moms out there, the moms to be. I know everybody have, has questions. I'm not gonna have all the answers, but um, I know I enjoy watching mommy vlogs. Even now, I still watch them uh, because you can never really know um, too much, I don't think, about motherhood. So, um, the first month, I was sore for like probably three to four weeks. I did the baths like they told me to and I really focused on trying my absolute best to breastfeed that light is really getting on my nerves from the window but it's fine um i really focused on trying to breastfeed and um i tried my hardest i drank water i probably didn't eat the healthiest that i could have but i was trying to eat healthier and um after you give birth well in my case i just wanted to give my body what it wanted kind of um so i just kind of ate what i wanted not that i always eat terrible uh but i probably ate a little more candy than i should have after giving birth i really focused on breastfeeding we had some issues because paisley my adorable little girl uh she would not latch normally so paisley had a little bit of issues trying to latch and um we had to use the shield, which is like this little round plastic. It's not plastic, it's like, um, oh my gosh, I cannot think. It's not like silicone, but it's it's rubber. Rubber, yes, kind of like a rubber silicone kind of deal. Um, and uh, it just helps your baby to latch on better so that they can eat. Well, we were having some issues with that. They actually told me that she had a tongue tie problem and the nurse at the hospital was super concerned about it. But at her very first um, pediatrician appointment, the pediatrician said that if she was his kid, he wouldn't worry about like getting the tongue tie fixed because she doesn't have like a super severe case of a tongue tie. So I'm kind of just like waiting that out a little bit and seeing what I think about that. Um, if we do anything about the tongue tie, it will be when she is little so that it's not as difficult. Um, but so far, I think we're okay. Um, she has her four month appointment next month, I think on like the 24th or something. So I may ask about her tongue tie and just see if the pediatrician is still in the same uh, frame of mind on that. Um, but, so since she had the tongue tie issue, she had a little bit of an issue um, 
latching and so breastfeeding was a little bit difficult so when i got home from the hospital like they tried to train me with breastfeeding and it was just it was it was a lot and when you are a new mom you're exhausted in the hospital because you just gave birth and uh, it takes a lot out of you literally it takes a baby out of you but that's great because that's the wonderful reward motherhood is amazing i love my baby girl she's perfect um she's such a good baby um but so yeah so at the hospital they were like trying to teach me how to breastfeed how to like get her to latch right how i need to use the pump so when i got home my sister-in-law had a medela pump which is what i used and I tried doing that. I tried the power pump session, which was uh, pump for 20, rest for 10, pump for 10, rest for 10, pump for 10, rest for 10, pump for 10. I think, I think that's how it was. So I did some power pump sessions um, and like that was kind of later on. Like when I first got home from the hospital, I was doing pretty good. Um, with the breastfeeding and the pumping and getting enough milk um, well I say that but I didn't get enough milk to feed her because at that point she was she's squealing right now watching World Party she loves it um, but I didn't get enough milk to feed her because when she came home from the hospital she was drinking like two ounces and I couldn't supply that for her and so time kept passing by I was doing the power pump sessions I was trying my best to pump every um, three hours I think three to four hours um, and because of my life uh, I'm very involved in my church and all of that and so pumping was just not um, priority I guess because I wasn't like going to pump during a church service that's just not me <laughs> So, um, but I did, when I got home, I tried my best to pump and all of that. It got to the point where I would pump 20 minutes and I got half of a milliliter, which if you know, that is not very much at all. So at that point I realized, hey, my baby's eating three ounces and I can only get half a milliliter during one pumping session. This is not working out, so let's just do formula. And when she was in the hospital, she had an issue with jaundice. So we had to supplement with formula because um, one day she like went five hours, she slept for five hours and didn't eat at all. And so they were super worried and they said that her eating formula uh, or just eating in general would help her jaundice uh, issue. Uh, they would, it would help that level to go down. And so we had to supplement early on probably I think she was two three days old two days old something like that so we were supplementing early on which kind of made the breastfeeding thing not seem like it was super demanding as it would have if I was like exclusively uh, breastfeeding but um, my doggy just brought in a bone to eat so there you go so sorry I keep rocking back and forth <laughs> So yeah, so I decided after a month of trying to breastfeed that I was not going to do that because it just was not happening for me. You moms out there that are breastfeeding, kudos to you. You are a superwoman because it is super hard to like set that time aside. Um, of course, you know, it wasn't hard to really set the time aside, but you, you feel like you're feeding your baby and then you have to pump again and then you're like it's just a constant cycle or that's what it seemed like to me anyways and the fact that I just wasn't getting enough I just I decided formula is the way that we need to go because I want her to gain weight I want her to be healthy so that's just what we decided to do now I do encourage you to try to breastfeed because it is uh, it is a bonding thing and it was awesome um, and I really think I think they say like the most important time is like the first two weeks or so uh, that's when your baby gets like the colostrum I believe is what it is uh, and that's like what they really need in their bodies so she got that uh, and so I feel confident in that um, that she got that and I'm very thankful that I was able to uh, provide that for her but formula is just the way that we had to go 
and you got to do what's best for your baby um, and that's just kind of what we decided to do so one thing they don't tell you after giving birth is um, well I mean I had a few women uh, at church tell me that after they gave birth if they ever sneezed or coughed or anything um, they would use the bathroom a little bit and that is something that I struggled with a little bit it's gotten a lot better thank the good Lord um, but I probably had five accidents <laughs> after giving birth uh, because I just didn't feel the urge to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night so I wouldn't wake up and so that was concerning to me but um, so that wasn't fun but it's gotten better so we're all good now um so my six-week appointment you know you after you give birth you automatically have that six-week appointment set up I was cleared everything looked good healthy she cleared me because I was kind of waiting for that appointment until I started working out because I didn't want to like do something that would like harm my body or mess me up or anything like that. So I waited for that appointment to actually do workouts and stuff. So the second month, um, I started to feel more like myself, you know, because um, that first month you're really just trying to adjust and uh, you're trying to figure everything out and all of that. And then I started working out the second month, uh, clearly, because six weeks is a month and a half. But uh, anyway, anyways. So then the third month, which is, um, she's three months old now. So um, now I'm really focused on eating healthy and working out and just trying to take better care of myself. And of course I'm focused on my baby. Uh, I'm so glad and thankful that um, I'm able to be a stay-at-home mom right now. But I'm super thankful that I'm able to be with her every moment of every day and not every moment of every day and not miss anything. Because I don't want to miss her first word, her first steps. She's already rolled over and it's just insane. Like she's such an overachiever and she's awesome. So. Since becoming a mom, I don't know what it is, but I guess I just feel like I need to be like so put together. I don't, I don't know. It's, well, I think most of it is the fact that me actually getting ready, like doing my hair, doing my makeup, that's me taking time for myself. So since I gave birth, I really have been taking the time to fix my hair, to do my makeup, to, um, paint my nails and which right now they're not painted but most of the time they are um but I take that time for myself because it just makes me feel like I'm like kind of pampering myself in a way and just taking care of myself and um eating healthy and working out that as well um has really just made me feel better because I want to be the best mom that I can be for my little girl and uh, I want to be a great example for her. Um, I'm very thankful that God has trusted me to be this little girl's mama. And um, I'm just, I'm getting, oh, there's water in my eyes, you guys. But i um, super thankful to be a mama. Um, it's the best thing ever. And... When I first got married, I knew I wanted kids, but the timing, I was like, I don't know, you know, maybe five years down the road. Well, this year we'll be married five years in October. She was actually born seven days after our anniversary. So that's kind of, it's kind of neat. Being a mom is one of the most rewarding things ever. Um, she can wake me up at 3 a.m. and she'll just smile at me and it's just the best thing. Um, but she brings so much joy to my life and I'm so thankful that I had a girl. If I had a boy, I would have been happy to. But um, I had a little girl and she's perfect. And now we get to go to concerts together and go shopping, do our hair, do our nails, do our makeup. So I'm super excited about the future um, with Paisley. But also, I am enjoying being in the moment. And I'm trying my best not to wish away her like a childhood like people are like has she started crawling yet and like she's getting there like if she ever figures out what to do with her knees and how to like prop herself up she'll be good 
Um, but like, I want her to take her time, you know, stay little as long as you can, baby girl, because this flies by so quick. It's just insane that it's already been three months. I just don't even know how that happened. When they say time flies, they're no, it, they're not joking. It seriously does. But yeah, that's pretty much my postpartum update. This is kind of a lengthy video, but I did have three months to cover. We're back. So as I was saying, um, your goal when you become a mama after you give birth is to make sure you get plenty of rest. And I was super thankful for my mother-in-law and my mom because they came over to my house and they were like, you go sleep, I'll watch the baby. And I was like, okay um the only thing about that was it was kind of hard because i was like i don't know if i can sleep because i, I want to watch her and i want to like love her and you know but it's okay to sleep it's all right so make sure you get plenty of rest because you're gonna need it um and take care of yourself it's not selfish to take care of yourself self-care is important because you have to take care of yourself in order to be the best version of you and in order to take care of your baby you gotta take care of yourself so anyways <laughs> thanks for watching this video i'm out of breath now good grief that was that was sad that's sad mommy's already out of breath so yeah um that's it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching and uh, this is her bottle from earlier she didn't finish it anyways um if you guys want to see like if you want to know more details into the birth story please comment down below and i will let you know all about that so yeah god bless you guys thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and when you subscribe be sure to turn on the little bell so that you are notified every time i post a new video so i will see you guys later peace out are you going to say peace out, Paisley? Are you going to say peace out? You want to say peace out? You want to say peace out? We got a little bit of cereal residue on our bib. It's okay. It's alright. Bye, guys.